Okay, I've jumped to the browser. Now in order to figure out what our pre-processing function should be named, we need to know what template file or theme function some output comes from. And one great way to do this is by using the theme developer module. I've installed it and you've seen it used in previous videos, but just to be clear, I'm going to go ahead and click on the checkbox in the lower left hand corner here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on a link. Now I'm curious if we want to output a link differently, what theme function we would need to use. So after clicking on that, we got some information up top in the theme developer box overlay. And the function being used is called theme link. So if we wanted to create a pre-processing function, we would use the name of our theme, pre-process, and then link. Let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and jump to your resource pack directory. And go ahead and copy the first step in the bat overrides folder called template.php adding text to links. So what we're going to do is take our link theme function and we're going to add some text to the link before it gets rendered. Now go to your Drupal site directory and go to your sites, all, themes, bat overrides folder and open up the template.php file. If you don't have this already, go ahead and create an empty text file and open it. And then what we're going to do is copy the code that's in the step file over to the template.php file, overwriting whatever that's there already, and go ahead and save it. Okay, so what we're doing here is creating a preprocessing function. We have bat overrides underscore preprocess underscore link, and it's being passed a single variable, which is an array of the content that will get passed to the template file. And if we wanted to find out what was inside of this variable, we could use a function called dpm, which is part of the devel module. We can use a debugger or something simpler like verdump, which is a PHP function. If we take a look at those variables, we'll see that one of the variables that we can use is text, which is the actual text of the link. And so what we're going to do is append this capitalized click me so that it's easy to tell what items have been themed on the page. Okay, go ahead and jump back to the browser and close out your theme developer overlay if you have it open. And we're gonna need to clear our caches because we've added a new pre-processing function to our template.php file. So I'm hovering over home and clicking flush all caches in my admin menu. We can also go to the performance page and clear caches there. Okay, and now if we look throughout the page, we'll see a lot of click me's. So the home tab, the navigation expansion link here, the link here to the image, and these sublinks in the node teaser. So our pre-processing function is working. Okay, let's take a look at one more example. I'm gonna jump back to the resource pack directory and go ahead and open up the second step, which is called template.php default image. And what we're going to do here is change the image that's used when image files are themed. Okay, go ahead and copy the entire code and paste it over the code that's currently in your template.php file and save it. I'm gonna jump back to the browser real quick and I wanted to point out how we figured out that we wanted to use this particular pre-processing function name. I'm going to enable the theme developer and what I'm going to do is click on one of these images that's inside of my dummy content that I've created here. Okay, now this says that we're using a theme function called theme image and it turns out that theme image is responsible for taking the parts of an image tag and putting them together for example, the title attribute and the source attribute. So what we can do inside of a pre-processing function is replace all of the images with an image from a single source, and that's what we're going to do in this pre-processing function. Okay, go ahead and jump back to the editor, and let's go ahead and take a look at this second pre-processing function. We've called it bat overrides underscore preprocess underscore image, and this is because the theme function name is theme underscore image. We're just removing the theme underscore and it's being passed the variables array. And 
What we're doing, after we took a look at the variables array, we saw that there was an item in there called path, and this pointed to the location of the image that was going to be themed. And so what we're going to do is replace this all with an image that's inside of our Drupal base site directory inside the miss folder called Druplicon, which is the Drupal logo. So go ahead and jump back to the browser, exit out of the theme developer, and flush all the caches to register our new pre-processing function. And now we'll see that the image that we were looking at before is now the Druplicon. And if we scroll down, we'll see that all of the images used inside of our dummy content use this image. And we can even scroll down to the very bottom where the RSS feed icon would normally be, and it's now being replaced by the Druplicon.